Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? It's Alex Bennett, and yes it is, as always, the Ramble, which goes from now until uh, midnight, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, and uh, we will be getting to our uh, uh, citizens panel in just a bit. Let me just say something before we go into the first segment on the show tonight. And that is that this interview was recorded earlier today. Yes, I know I'm wearing the same shirt. I try to wear the same clothing. Uh, It was recorded earlier today, before all the big news broke towards the end of the day. That's that's, uh, what the problem is with pre-recording some interviews. And because uh, this person and I like to talk about things political, that would have been something for us to talk about. But you won't hear us talk about it because it was recorded about four hours before all the news broke. So let's go now out to California and uh, join uh, just a uh, old, uh, wait a minute, wait, hold on a second, I gotta get the right thing, an old friend of ours. <laughs> well, look who we have here. Oh, I love seeing that wizened face. I, I use that term because you use it. Uh, the wizened <laughs> face of... of wizened well, and sagacious. Older. Well, as you've yeah. gotten older, you get to, actually, you, uh, you, because of the kind of comedy you do, you look more authoritative. You, you look professorial. Yeah, but I've always looked like I was 50. Even when I was 18, I looked like yeah, I was 50. I got pictures of you where you're a punk. Uh, <laughs> I you know. bet you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got pictures of you. I got the goods on you, my man. So, uh, yeah, so uh, oh, me, how, yeah. is, how, how, what, how big is your scrapbook? How big is my scrapbook? Yeah. What do you mean? Of, of all my stuff? Of all the stuff, well, all the radio my, stations. Well, but my, but my scrapbook, I, there was a scrapbook at one time that my ex-wife, Ronnie, kept uh, when I was here in New York. But then as time went on, I just kind of like threw stuff in the corner, <laughs> you know. And, and then now it's in a storage locker somewhere up in Petaluma, up near, or, uh, up near Petaluma uh, in Santa Rosa. And and uh, uh, most of my other stuff that I need and, and for the archives, it's it's all on the computer now. I don't, you know, scra- yeah. scrapbook. Are you, what, what age are you from, scrapbook? Yeah, but yeah. I still pull clippings from papers. Y- yeah. But I, I, you know, I haven't I haven't ordered them ever. Yeah. I just I throw them into a, a, one of those plastic bins. You, and it's just publicity. You know what I find is happening, and thank God for my fans okay uh they every now and then will send me something here's a picture from you at so and so and here's an article and here's a tape of you at wmca in new york with uh, the grateful dead and stuff like that so i don't really a lot of this stuff is starting to come to me and i thank people for collecting it you know so uh, a lot of those things which would have been lost to the ages i mean there are things lost to the ages but there are some things that aren't because kids were sitting at home in New York every night recording my show on their little quarter-inch tape, you know, going at three and seven-eighths per second or maybe even less than that. <laughs> you know, three and, uh, yeah, three and a quarter, excuse me. It was, one, it was one and seven-eighths is the other speed. Do you have do you have uh, the uh, the 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 John Lennon uh, session? Oh yeah, yeah. But I have that di- I had that digitized years ago. Ah. So that it yeah, yeah. And is it up on your website? Uh, you can go to my Roku channel and it's there. So, oh wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I mean, uh, uh, and I, I I put up shows here on the weekend where I. We run all these shows from Gabnet, but then we also I run a couple of my old shows from like Live 105 and so on. You've been on quite a few times with oh. people, you know, as a young, unwizened boy. <laughs> Man, I remember coming down to that show. Yeah. I remember you had this 
the ceramic ashtray that was about oh yeah when wide, I smoked yeah and it was in the middle and everybody would smoke and put their cigarettes out because you always had three comics on and this was when you were still smoking at the original well um, I was at the on quake 10th Street. on the quake no yeah. I didn't smoke at live 105 I quit at the quake yeah and uh, and I remember Stephen King came in mm -hmm. and I had seven paperbacks that yeah. I brought in with me so that he would he would sign them. Yeah. I remember when they came through, when Wes Anderson came through with Bottle Rocket and uh, you had uh, the two brothers, the Wilson the, the, brothers. Oh, the Wil Wilson brothers, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you had the Wilson brothers Luke. on. Yeah. Then I remember one time, uh, Kiefer Sutherland came through. Did he really? I don't even remember that. Yeah, yeah. He, he came in and he gave me some BS about, oh, I, because uh, he and I were bantering back and forth. I love you, man. I want to use you in my next flick. And, uh, <laughs> I remember that. Uh, who else? It was another band at the Quake. And I can't remember. Hmm. Yeah, but it was uh, just. You never knew what was what was going to happen, and then uh, who was who was your booker? Was it Lori? But no, at that time uh, it was uh, Christy was there. Uh, Christy and then Stephanie. Th no, Stephanie came at the was it Live One Hundred Five? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, it was uh, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it uh, but, all up and. Uh, uh, but you know, I'll tell you, it, it it's all a blur to me. I know. I it's know. like this, like. Like suddenly we took all these people that were on the show and then we, we, we put them on the canvas and just made a big smudgy painting out of it, you know? And when people say to me, like, you know, I'm talking to um, um, Lewis Black. And Lewis says, you know, I was on your show several times in San Francisco. You were? <laughs> you, know, you were? He said, you probably didn't remember me because I wasn't very good back then, <laughs> you know? But yeah, he was on, you know. They're all uh, a lot of people came through. A lot of people had to tell me they were on the show. <laughs> well, because there's so many there were so many coming through, too. Well, you, when you're in the middle of it, nobody really thinks to stop and write it all down and reflect on it because it's all about propulsion. It you was just keep moving forward. It was a vortex, you know, of sorts. Uh it, 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 and, and, and when you're in the middle of that vortex, you don't see everything that's going on around you. You don't even appreciate it, really. No. You know? No. Uh, uh, and, and sometimes, it, when I think of some of the people we had on the shows, it, it's just, it, people are even, they, when I mention that I, I've done, I've interviewed that person. Like, I'm sitting with my wife saying, well, I, I interviewed him. You know? She, it, it's just, it, it's amazing to me that they're amazed by it. You know? But it just went by like a big blur. Yeah. And then it was all over. <laughs> and then it was all over. And then, then I, I adopted the term, the phrase, I used to be a big shot. <laughs> That's the last line in the Roaring Twenties. Is Jimmy Cagney is uh, dying on the steps of St. Patrick's Cathedral in the arms of his girlfriend. I think maybe it was Ann Sheridan, maybe not. I can't remember. And a cop comes over, I think played by Ward Bond, and looks down at them and said, who is he? <laughs> And she says his name, whatever it was. And then he says, what does he do? She said, he used to be a big shot. And as soon as I heard that, I said, that's me. I used to be a big <laughs> shot. And if you go to my Facebook page, that's my slogan. <laughs> he used to be a big shot. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, but it, it, those were great days. Those were great days. But now these are <sighs> trying times. That we're living. Well, the fact that uh, America has has it's been such a seismic shift, and it's almost like we're in a uh, an altered uh, parallel universe, you know? Yeah. With presidency, I mean, this is like a, a fictional presidency. This is like uh, you know it's a, a book, a bad book, because it has no resolution. <laughs> you know, it just it, it the it just keeps, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and it, it 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 somebody said somebody said to Giuliani. I think in some interview. I can't remember who said it, but it was 
very smart of him to say it to Giuliani. If your client isn't guilty, why as lawyers are you acting like he is? <laughs> because everything they do is like they're defending somebody who's guilty. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Truth isn't truth. Did you see, did you see the meet meet the press? Where yeah, I, and that? I love the way. T- what ha- what's better is Chuck Todd's reaction. Yeah. It was just. <laughs> You never see this from anybody who's anchoring a show. His hands just went into his head, and he just, you know, did this, oh, my God, look. And even, even uh, uh, what's his name, Giuliani, who was in Washington or something like that, saw it because he went, what's with this? Yeah, you know? don't do this to me. Yeah. Don't, do this. <laughs> don't do this to me. I mean. But he said it's going to be a bad meme, you know. I mean, when they go to truth isn't truth you know like it depends on what the definition of it is is, is yeah i mean we remember that that was 1998 that's that not it what the, that years. it all depends on what the definition of is 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 not as bad as the truth isn't true or whatever he said the truth is not the truth yeah it's not the truth yeah well then what is it <laughs> i just uh it's just he did have a point though what? he did have a point because he said if uh, Comey says uh, that he did ask for uh, loyalty and to lay off, and and Trump says he didn't ask, I mean, what's true? And then, and then, and then Todd said, "Well, wouldn't you go back to a person's, you know, uh, track record of veracity?" And James Comey is like this this pillar of sanctimonious self righteousness, and, and Trump is this facile greasy pole that will do anything <laughs> and and then giuliani said well i don't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> giuliani is just amazing just amazing somebody said boy he's gotten terrible i said he always was you know it was just that one brief moment where he was the mayor of new york when those bill those jets hit the building and he got on the TV and tried to calm people down. I have yeah. to admit, he had a moment of glory in that. However, the fact that, that he put the uh, emergency services for the city of New York in World Trade Center 7 and stored gasoline in there and oil when they told him you should put it out in Brooklyn somewhere where it would survive an attack on Manhattan, then he was wrong, <laughs> you know. Is that true? Yes, it's true. He filled seven with, uh, with oil, and, oil gas? and gasoline. Yeah, for emergency purposes. All that should have been out in Brooklyn because if somebody were going to attack New York, they wouldn't say, "Hey, let's get Brooklyn." You know, they'd say, "Hey, you hit you hit Manhattan, right?" So, so did that contribute to? Oh, World Trade Seven went completely. It blew up. I mean, it just burned to the ground. Mm. You forget about World that. Trade 7. There were the two big World Trade Center buildings, yeah, yeah, and then there yeah, was yeah. World Trade Center 7, and that was right next to them, and it went too. So you had no emergency services for the city of New York during that crisis. Yeah, he's wonderful. He's terrific. And, and uh, Trump, the businessman, John Oliver did a whole bit about how just fucked up he is when it comes to business. I mean, he's got it all wrong. He doesn't know the difference between deficit and debt. You know, he's that bad. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, how do you bankrupt casinos? It's a it's a money machine. It's a perpetual money machine. I don't and think he could have had a twenty four hour perpetual money machine. Well, but it, how do you bankrupt casinos? Well, I, also, I have when a, Aretha Franklin died. Yeah. Did you hear what he said? No. She, she used to work for me. Oh, <laughs> God. Damn. She used to work for me. She used yeah. to work for me. Where? Like maybe in a casino or something? At, yeah, in Atlantic City. She, she used to work for me. Yeah. No, yeah. you were paying her. It's all about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She used to work for me. Oh, that's great. D- did you know her? <laughs> you know, he's an <laughs> asshole. Jesus, he. And, no, but I have this guy named Phil on the show. He's a right winger all the time, and he makes the excuse, "Oh no, he's really a very good businessman." And I'm saying, hey, come on. You know, he wasn't even thought of as a good businessman when he was a businessman in New York. It's just that he projected this image of Mr. Monopoly, 
so that he could then put his name on buildings, and he sold that name to put him on buildings. Some of those buildings he didn't build, you know. And All he did was license. Well, what he did is he turned, he, rather than he realized he couldn't make money as Trump the entrepreneur, so he made it by creating an image of himself and then selling that image as a, you know, as a little cottage industry. And that's what he did. So if you wanted Trump on your building, give me a million dollars, you got the name to put Trump on your building. Uh, and, um, you know, but anyway, he, come on, he was a, he was a lightweight. People laughed at him, you know. Well, they still do. They still, well, they still do, but it, now, it's not, now they're laughing internationally. Well, it's not funny because we have a petulant child who who <laughs> who doesn't like people to make fun of him. You know, I mean, you're you'd be number one on the enemies list. You're a comedian talking about him. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna have my security clearance revoked. You know, if if this if I if I wrote if I if this were a science fiction movie, and I could go back to any period in time, <coughs> uh, it would be the correspondence dinner with Obama and Donald Trump, and Seth Meyer, and, and, and Seth Meyer, and I would whisper in Obama's ear, "Do not make a joke about Trump. Do not even talk about him. Don't." give him a jibe or anything because it's going to come back to haunt all of us and that's exactly what happened you know it came well, back seth to haunt meyer all was, of us was pretty brutal too huh seth meyer yeah. was pretty brutal yeah he but, was, he but was he told some good jokes but it was obama i think that got got him but <laughs> you know, he said uh yeah uh, you know he he could be president he can you know he's He's already showed experience in negotiating a, a separate peace between Meatloaf and Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all funny stuff that he should have yeah. been taken with good, uh, good jest, but he didn't because that's not the kind of man he is. <laughs> he's very thin-skinned when it comes to stuff about himself. And he's revoking everything that Obama did. Well, that's why he's, he's that he doesn't like what Obama did because he doesn't like what Obama said at the correspondence dinner. That's how 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 petty, petty the man is, you know. And and and, and that's our president. Yeah. You know, he's a he's a he's a man boy or something. You he's going to get us into a war because someone looked at him funny. Well, I mean, <laughs> the whole the whole attitude. That uh, that oh, how dare you be against me? I'll take away your security clearance if you're against me. I don't understand why the, the former director of the CIA has still has a security clearance. Well, the, the, there is a reason for it uh, because the present head of the uh, CIA calls upon him every now and then for advice. And the advice may be of a classified nature, and so therefore he has to have CIA clearance, or rather, uh, um, uh, you know, clearance, whatever that is. Uh, we got clearance, clearance. Yeah. He, um, but when he takes it, took it away, what he did is he also stopped a resource from existing for the CIA. Because they, all CIA heads go back to former CIA heads and say, what would you do in my situation? You know, what did you do when something like this happened to you? And it might, what they're talking about, be of a classified nature. So really, he fucked up our security system just by pulling his clearance. And why? Was there something... He's a little child. This is a man for 36 years who could keep secrets. Something, by the way, Trump isn't very good at. You know, but he kept secrets for 36 years. What makes you think he isn't doesn't deserve a classified uh, thing? You know, all to get Omarosa off off the news. Yes, yes, yes. That's what he does. He always and you know something. The press are like dogs chasing a stick. You know, you don't even have to throw a stick to, for the dog. You pretend like you're throwing <laughs> a stick, and they go chasing it. And that's exactly how Trump deals with the press. He knows if he throws the stick and he doesn't even have to have a stick in his hand, they're all going to go chasing it. He's faking them out. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, uh, the press is, it, it, I don't think they're fake. I don't give them that 
much credit for being fake. If they were fake, they would have some creativity. Uh, but I do say that they are naive and they are complicit in all the problems we have now because they created Trump just because they chased the stick. Nobody ever followed every every candidate's uh, lecture and, and rally and nobody yeah. ever did that. It, it happened in the background and news was made. By the way, they Obama, followed oh, every one of his. They oh, didn't follow every one of Hillary's, oh, but they they yeah. televised every one of his rallies because something might happen. Because something, in, yeah. they might turn on the press or there might be a riot, but they followed every one of them. But they you, televised their, they, you're right. You know what I find somewhat curious uh, is that uh, I watch MSNBC and they go, well, where are those tapes of Trump calling using the N-word when he was doing The Apprentice? Well, you should know. You're NBC. It ran on your network. You have some access to those tapes. If And if Burnett doesn't want to give them up, you say, hey, we fucking paid for them. Okay? So we want them, or you're never going to work for this network again. NBC, NBC could get them in a second. And uh, Penn Jillette uh, went to some magazine or something and was being interviewed and said, oh, there are tapes of him saying using the N-word. He said, he used it all the time when I was doing The Apprentice and the tapes were rolling. He said he did it to such an extent that it made me feel personally uncomfortable. You know, so... And then he and then he said, "But don't take my word because I'm an unreliable witness." <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then you know, I mean, uh, you know, going after Mueller. I you mean, know what though? It doesn't matter because the people who believe that he's a racist already believe he's a racist. And if the if the N word tape does appear, uh, his supporters would say, "Oh, what's the big deal?" You know. Rappers use it all the time. Eddie Murphy made a career out of using it. So, I mean, his base, it's not going to change anybody in our space. It wouldn't matter. Well, no, what I find uh, that 33% or something who are just solidly, you know, in his yeah, yeah. camp, they the will, mean and stupid. Yeah. They, they will make an excuse for anything he says or does. Yeah. You know, well, he's just being unpredictable. <laughs> really? Really? That's what you call it? You know, when it seems like every black person he tweets about is dumb or stupid. Yeah. You know, I guess black people are dumb. Right, Don? Like you, Maxine Waters, yeah. Yeah, Maxine Waters, Don, Don Lemon. Don Lemon, dumb. LeBron made Don Lemon look smart, which is really hard. Yeah. And, and, and uh, tell me, uh, who is one of the smartest athletes in the, in the country? LeBron James. He's, he's supposed to be quite brilliant. You know, he's a very smart man. I mean, and who is Trump to call anybody dumb? You like know. when he, uh, he, he uh, after Rex Tillerson called him a moron, someone told the president, we think that your uh, secretary of state might have called you a moron, and Trump's immediate response was to challenge him to an IQ test. <laughs> <laughs> And he probably couldn't spell IQ. You no, know, probably couldn't spell IQ. Well, you know, as a uh, as a um, uh, as a political comic, this is just this is just uh, this is like it's almost too easy. The hard part, though, is finding the stuff that will last. Because yeah, you're right. Something happens every day, which is good for the late night talk show hosts. You know, because the writers. Uh, are constantly coming up with something new, but but for me, on stage because I have to I have to get good at this. By the way, in case you're listening you do, to us on just was, audio sorry. only, uh, Will is currently killing a cat. She doesn't like me. Is that Heloise? That's Heloise. Yeah. Um, so, but it's hard for me when I do my little show because I have to get good at a line for it to appear in the show i can't do uh it's a 90 minute show you, you've so, got to craft it uh yeah and i gotta fit it in so that it all kind of builds and and has a, a through line so the hard part for me 
is is finding a line that fits into the act and yeah. and and betrays uh, a larger point. Because I'm working on right now, I'm working on his zombies. You know, the Trump zombies, as you say, the 35 yeah. percent that are just rock solid. Yeah. So I'm trying to expand that right now. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, uh, but uh, but still, it, it it's you'll see. I'm coming to New York in November. Well, I'm gonna do my little one man show. You'll come down and see it. But I don't go to little shows. You have <laughs> you, you have to start calling your show a big show. No, it's a when little I do one the big show. show. No, you know, I clawed my way to the middle. <laughs> I remember doing that line where I said I clawed my way to the middle, and I did that line on your radio show, mm -hmm. and uh, Bill Hicks was on the show with us. And I said, it's because uh, this is like one of the things I normally, I've clawed my way to the middle. It's lonely at the middle. And Bill Hicks looks over at me and says, crowded, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I miss him. He's, yeah. he's one I really miss, you know? Him uh, and Sam. Him and Sam. But more, more Hicks, I mean, when I talk about special, okay? Hicks was the definition of special. And I, 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 I can't even, people will say, well, why was he special? And I, I can't tell you. There was just something about him on stage where you went, wow, this is the real deal. You know, for years people would say to me, oh, this guy's the new Lenny Bruce. And I said, no, you never saw Lenny Bruce. He's not the next Lenny Bruce. And they always use that admonition. And in the case of Hicks, I said, he came closest to that. Yeah. Approbation, you know. He would the, either kill or die. Yes. There was no in between. Audiences were never, were never just blasé about him. And part of the reason was, he was fearless. Yeah. You know, he was fearless. But anyway, talking about dead comics. Well, it makes us feel good because we're still alive, I guess. You know? yeah. It makes me very sad sometimes when I think about Bill. However, they did a thing on uh, CNN. They're doing the history of comedy, and they did one. How about, is that? It, it's okay, but they did something about all the dead com, a lot of dead comics, right? You know, and Bill Hicks was the first image on that show, so I thought felt good about it. But then after it was over, I went. They didn't mention Pryor. They didn't mention Kennison. They didn't mention Lenny Bruce. Wow. And, uh, they didn't mention Andy Kaufman. And I'm going, I guess they missed out on a few. It was like whoever did it just did it within their age range. You know? Yeah, yeah. well, if you look at the Comedy Central's top 100 comics, I mean, it's, it's incredible, you know, <laughs> yeah, because it's, you know, I mean, Craig Shoemaker is, is on it, you know, the yeah. top 100 comics of all time, you know, because it's all about this generation. Exactly. You know? they, they don't. Yeah, hey, well, listen, Mr. Durst, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Well, the honor is mine, young man, yeah. and uh, let's do this again in three weeks. Yeah, and we'll do it again in three weeks here, and then you're going to come on with me Sunday when I do that big national radio show. So, Yeah, 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 yeah that'll be fun. Which, uh, is, um, well, I'll tell you about it after we're off here. Anyway, uh, I, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Show me San, Thank Fr you, San, Fr show me San Francisco again. We'll go out on a shot of San Francisco. There it is. It's foggy as usual. Thank you. Thank you, Will. I appreciate it. Bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And, and yeah, I turned on the microphone just in time. Yeah. You know, I, I, I suddenly realized something here. See this? I saw an ad on TV the other day about, you know, sometimes you get your, your, your front here gets all, all saggy. And they said, oh, you just use, uh, use this, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, softener. Uh, and uh, so I got to go get some of that softener because my shirts all do this now, and I like wearing the t-shirts, you know. Anyway, I've got the actually I'm it's cold in here because I've got the air conditioning on because if I don't have the air conditioning on, it gets too it gets too hot. So I have to turn on the air conditioning, and then it gets too cold, and then I try to turn the air conditioner up, but this thing doesn't. This thing you can turn this thing up to 80, and it doesn't know the difference, right? You know so. 
anyway hey let me uh let me uh we got stuff to talk about tonight oh god a lot of stuff to talk about tonight uh let me let me get uh skype up here get it turned on there you go we're online and people can call me then you know and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk with you uh thing we call the citizen panels if you don't know how it works uh, just go over to gabnet.net that's our website for all things gabnet over the right hand side of the page is a tutorial on how you can be part of the citizens panel by using skype and it's it's very easy we've got the, th the place where you can download it from and you just install it it's so simple to install and then if you want to like uh, uh, call us we have a little button on there you can click and if your skype is open and ready to go you click on that and it just dials us okay it's also got a number for a uh, landline in case you don't want to use skype and you don't want us to see who you are and you don't want to get the complete enjoyment of our little festival here every night uh, but uh, anyway, our, uh, our number, uh, uh, if you want to call us uh, on Skype, is Skype Live, uh, Gabnet Live, what am I saying? Gabnet Live, uh, which is uh, what, it's what we call, it's just kind of an ID or whatever, you know. Uh, you'll make up your own name when you, when you get Skype. So anyway, now I'm just sitting here uh, waiting for people to call, and it's a, it's a, a Tuesday, and uh, that's always a bit on the slow side, so uh, we'll have to we'll have to see what happens here. Uh, I would hate to have to sit here and not get any calls. I, I have this great fear. I'm doing the show on uh, Sunday uh, uh, for my friend um, Walter M. Sterling, and uh, it will be on the Westwood Radio Networks. Uh, if you want to see it, well, I'll give you information on that later. Jeff Stein is calling, and uh, and I got to I got to go to Jeff because Jeff is now back from uh, from uh, Ger uh, from Italy. I is. How was it? It was great. Yeah, you had, he, he had a good time, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was hot as hell. Really, what part of Italy were you in? Well, I started in Rome. Yeah, and then went up. Yeah, it just happened. Because oh, I, I was supposed to go to Sicily once with a friend of mine, and um, uh, I understand in Sicily it's just the heat during the summer is just unrelenting, you know. But uh, hell, and, and there's Phil. Phil, how are you feel? How are you feeling? I I feel good. Uh, I feel real good, and you know uh, I even feel good about. Uh, Manafort well, and, we'll get, uh, and we'll Cohen. Get to, you don't have to <laughs> jump know, in. I know, there. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. You, you feel good about Manafort and Cohen. Yeah, they really got off, didn't they? Uh, yeah. Uh, they, if, hey, if they're crooks, they got what they deserve. Well, <laughs> yes, I guess that's how, how Trump will throw them to the wolves. Anyway, uh, no, but was, I was asking him about Italy. Uh, and uh, so, of course. Bonjour, though. You know, the food was, yeah. the food was great, right? <laughs> It, it is, it is, but you know, it's a little different than what we see. Really, the bread's I, good there. Too. Yeah, it's different. I don't know. It's a little different. In this, I don't so. know when, it, when I when I when every time every, every, very similar. Every time I've gone yeah. to Italy, I've been overwhelmed by the food. Even oh, really? you, I even find there are little roadside like uh, food places, uh, gas stations, and you can go yeah. into one of those, and you will get great food. Yeah. I had a salad once in in Florence, yeah. and it, it was a salad bar. You know how they have spaghetti bars and pasta bars. Well, this was just a salad bar. You yeah. went in there, and it was like the soup Nazi. This guy would yell, and you, if you ordered something, what you got depended on what was left over from the last guy's order. Yeah. And you know, if he made it up, and there was more left in the bowl, whatever he had, you got. Yeah, that yeah that became the beginning of your your bowl, and. It, was unbelievable yeah it was so good yeah uh, but yeah. i mean I, I i went into a uh, one of these gas station food courts okay yeah. uh and oh. uh i said oh. did they have ho-hos i said oh, i said i'll try the tiramisu it's got to be terrible right yeah. it was unbelievable it was terrific and then i said well i'll have the have the lasagna let's see what that's wonderful you know I mean, it, it's just that the food is, it, you know, and you know, he was with 
grandkids, though, and grandkids want to eat uh, paninis and, uh, you know, they, that's, they, kids don't they, go they, for They were fine. They yeah. were okay. Yeah, they, you know, they tried their difficult uh, stuff yeah. that they used to at the beginning, but uh, they had lasagna and it was... It was good lasagna. I'll bet it was. Well, you know what I loved about Italy is here, if you order, like, prosciutto and melon, you get, like, a couple of pieces of melon and then a couple of slices of prosciutto. Over there, if you ask for a plate of prosciutto, it's piled like this, you know, on the the plate. Um, That was the best thing I had, I think. Oh, every meal. Like, give me the prosciutto, and they come, giant plate of prosciutto. It was like, over, over there, they make it by the ton. The first time I went to Italy, yeah, I was there with my wife and 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 Mussolini was uh, and his sister, <laughs> and and we we got there and I don't know they were trying to get dressed and ready and I you know we we're supposed to go eat and we we're in this little town yeah so there was there was only one place to go right, right. so I sit down and. I, I, I have no Italian uh, experience at all as far as language goes at that time at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I sit down and they walk down and they sit down and I got the prosciutto, you know, with the melon and 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 they look at me and they go, How the hell did you order that? <laughs> and it says it's so simple. I asked for water. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I, no, wait a minute. I, was, wait, I wait, took wait, the train. Wait, from, wait, uh, can I tell yeah. a story? Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, you got a good story to tell? Yeah, good story. All right. So we pull into this town. You know, it gets late at night, and you just find the first hotel or motel that you can stay in. And we pull into this uh, inn, and it's it's a nice place. And we said, uh, you know, we didn't, it was some, we're in some small town. And we said, we want to get some dinner. Any good place to get dinner? And he said, yeah, just go down, walk down the street, and there's a place down there. So we walk down, and here is this place, which on the outside is, the, it looks really dingy. Okay? And I said, I th- who was I with? Uh, I think I was with my wife, who, the wife I was married to at the time. And I said, you want to go in, just take a chance on it? She said, yeah, but I don't think it's going to be very good. We walk in the door, and we walk into the main room, and the inside is palatial. It's like this big dome ceiling with paintings on the domes, like, like you know. Uh, Sistine uh, Chapel. Like the Sistine Chapel. I mean, yeah. and then we ordered food, and it was uh, the best food I've ever had anywhere, Okay. And I'll never find that restaurant again because I don't remember what town we were in. You know, I don't remember what the name of the place was. Uh, but boy, was that good. What a surprise. I, I took the train from Milan, where I was working, to Venice. Mm-hmm. And uh, about halfway across, I was hungry. I wanted lunch. Mm-hmm. So uh, my ex-wife and I, uh, who was wife at the time, uh, we, we get off the train in Padua. I don't know if you're familiar with that city, but it's like a thousand-year-old city. It's yes. very, very, very old. And uh, so we get off the train, and, and the first restaurant I see next to the train station, I, we walk in. Uh, we had, I had, I don't know what she had. I had venison, and it was so good. The, the sauce that was on it, it, you know, I'd never had venison before. I asked the guy, you know, what, what you have? He's the venison. Unbelievable. You know, and these are the kinds of things. I can't do that. I can't do venison because I know what it is, and I it's too game. I don't like game. I just it It, it didn't taste gamey. These guys were so good, and the sauce that was on it was so good. Uh, It it just melted in your mouth. It wasn't gamey. I I was afraid. I I told you the story about when we went to the Olympics in uh, Norway, and there was a hamburger joint next door, and they had the best hamburgers, and we maybe ate. Four of these hamburgers a day, they were so good. And finally, I found out they were reindeer. <laughs> well, and I went, yeah. well, no t- no reason to stop now. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> Hello, Ray. How to do? 
There's Ray walking his dog. Walking the dog. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about uh, 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 our places friend, to eat. Uh, uh, our places to eat and, and uh, Jeff's uh, to, uh, trip to Italy. Um, so, oh, so cool. Yeah. And I think that's the best. Yeah. And Jeff, <laughs> while you were in Italy, yeah. they were shoving wires into my heart. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm alive. <laughs> And he's peppier. Look at him. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, there's no stopping him now. Jeez, I wish he's they so smiley. You know what they hey. should have done? They should have fixed your heart, but put a bullet in your foot. Well, you, you know, know, I don't understand why the, they down. put a wire up my ass, but uh, you know, maybe that's uh, <laughs> giving me the smile. But do you feel and, the and, difference? Yeah, I, I do. I uh, I have more air. You know, uh, do you have more energy? Uh, I think so, but uh, I've been I've been being careful. It's I got about a week before I can do any exercise. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, and I don't want the the arteries that they um, uh, in the groin that they uh, shoved things up. Uh, I don't want them to start bleeding. Oh, okay. Well, nothing like bleeding from your groin. That's a lovely, yeah, really. lovely concept. And, and, and from two arteries. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely. Have you got concept. any more uh, clear headed like? Like about politics and stuff. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Ab absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm more pro-Trump now than I was before. Oh shit! <laughs> created a monster. You know what's going to happen? Like Frankenstein. What's going to happen is eventually even the Trumpites will will uh, desert him, and he will still be for Trump. Yeah. What's this have to do with collusion? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he paid off a couple of hookers. Big deal. deal. Yeah, yeah. No, they weren't hookers. Well, one was a, a one porn star, but that isn't a hooker. His wife's the, the only hooker. Yeah, and, hey, the other one, even though she was hotter than shit, she was cavorting with a married man. Yes. And she knew it. But And she, and she felt terrible <laughs> about it because she was in love with the man, you know. Uh, that's what she says on TV. No, no, she was in love with him. I mean, I, I can't see any reason why she should be, but she was. Yeah. You know, I can understand that. I, I'm in love with him, too. Oh, really? <laughs> That's obvious. Well, then why don't you blow him for the rest of us, okay? <laughs> All right. Maybe you can Just slow like him Putin down. Did. You and Putin could be the two guys who have blown Trump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, according to you guys, Trump is blowing Putin. Uh, I, I, oh, yeah, probably. I like the days when George Bush was uh, president of the United States, and they <laughs> used to refer to Putin as Pooty Poot. Yeah, Remember that? that one. Yeah. They used to refer to him as Pooty Poot. Uh, so I thought that was, you know, I think we should all refer to him as Pooty Poot. Anytime he starts acting up, Pooty Poot. Hey, <laughs> you hello. know, hello, Kevin. Russia, I was told that Russia has the economy the same size as Italy. That their their economy, now maybe that's just their legitimate economy and everything else is, is run underground, but uh, uh, yeah. they said the GMP of Russia is the same as Italy. Yeah, well, black market is huge in Russia. Has been for centuries. It's really, really huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, how it's huge is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, uh, it's really big. <clears throat> you know, so so you know when you when you look at you know what they use to support their military and what they use to support uh, you know their programs and so forth, there there isn't that much money when you when you look at the size of the country and the and the population. Well, you know, you, you got to remember they they had a huge population which was diminished greatly after World War II because of the uh, of of the war in which they lost 25 million human lives. Yeah. Uh yeah. and that takes a big chunk out of a big country. Yeah, well that was during the war and uh you know they eliminated 6 million Jewish lives as well. Uh, you know, and when you look at the population of Jews in the in no, the world, the, the, and you look the, at the population the, yeah, of yeah, Russians, that's, that's not the point I was trying to the make. Percentage. Bill, the point well, I'm I was sure trying it's to not make. the point you were trying to the, make. No, the point I was <laughs> trying to make was is that they their their population decreased precipitously after yeah. during the war, and uh, uh, in fact, it's one of the reasons the Russians have never liked America because we were supposed to start a second front, and we never did. And those 25 million Russians got killed as a result of it. We've done the same yeah. thing to a lot of other uh, people that we support, whether it was the Bay of Pigs in Cuba or uh, the Kurds. I yeah. mean, you know, there's there's a number of uh, people that we. And don't forget, don't, for, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget the ways. 
Oh, Kurds they fought and with yeah. the Kurds, the Kurds and Ways. Uh, ain't, a little Miss Muppet sat on a tuffet eating her Kurds yeah. and Way. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, did you almost get hit by the bridge? Not at all. Yeah, that's what oh, people okay. do. They that's go, hey, oh, that was in another <laughs> city. It's probably uh, nowhere near yeah, it. Yeah, it was on the same country, though. Size. What? I was on the, the east versus the west. Yeah. 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 So you were on the east. Oh, oh the east. Venice. Okay, so Venice yeah. and stuff, not Pisa. Venice yeah. is on the other side of Genoa, the country. Yeah. 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 Well, Genoa and near it's Pisa. one it's one fucking it's bridge. Near, uh, Pisa and uh, yeah. Queen, what's it called? If it, it, it's one it, it's one fucking bridge and Cinque Terre. Somehow, somehow I was I've been to Cinque Terre. Yeah, me too. That's where I had my honeymoon. Really? You know it's that, a that, lot, that, that can we Cinque. hey 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 we're talking with each other right now. I thought okay. that what am, just, am I not another? Uh, well, no, but just you know, <laughs> uh, 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 try and hold your breath a little bit so you feel less air. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I went to we went to Cinque Terre, uh, Terra, uh, uh, what when we went to Italy a couple of years ago. That's when she was. Oh, cool. I, I did the video I have online with her, oh, yeah. her with the crutches. That was in that was I, in Cinque Terre where she. Right. We bought the crutches uh, in. Uh, uh, where was it? Uh, what's what's the what's the big uh, the beautiful town there? Milan? Or? No, no, uh, no. It's industrial. Uh, b- 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 oh yeah, uh, beautiful town. Oh, the one, the oh, circular Portofino. one. Po- no. Oh no, no, uh, the one that's circular, uh, Sorrento or no. uh, 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 Lake Como. No, no, the one that's right. You're near just there. naming it's places. Town, and no, it's circular. He said circular. The, they have a, they have a lake cir- Como they have a is a lake in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 what, what was the name of the town? Because I told him. Trying I would, to remember the damn name. I, I said it I was with an S. Seville. Seville. Seville? No. Siena or Siena. 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 That was it. Yeah, that's it. Well, anyway, we that's said we, I, she, I've always promised I'd take her back to Siena because she never got to see it because she was in a bed because of her legs. And uh, uh, yeah, one day I put her in the car and kind of drove her around to some of the places there. But uh, <coughs> Siena's really nice. Really that's nice. One of the most nice. beautiful architectural things in the world, I think. Yeah. Siena. It's just. Well, it's, right in the, it's also right. I don't think Florence is. Uh, well, I mean, you know. Siena. I mean, you can go up on the hill and you look down, and it's this town that's built in circle. It's a big. Yeah. It's a circle. <laughs> it's just incredible to me. But I don't. It's beautiful. Walk, when you walk into Florence and and mm-hmm. you see that big green marble uh, uh, duomo, or I was in people. Florence. I never saw it. Well, it, it's what you first see when you walk. Uh, in. No, I didn't first see anything. There's like uh, a she, gate was, she was she was she was she was so gimpy by then that oh. we didn't go <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. So I I we were really kind of on the periphery. We were yeah. in Florence, but we were on the periphery. And the only thing was, I was there long enough to get a traffic ticket. Really? Yeah. Which I got by when I came back to the United States because they said you went the wrong way. It, it, they it, what they do is at different times of the day they change the direction. Or the or the streets that the traffic can flow on, but they, that makes they sense. but all the signs are in Italian. So how am I going to read that, right? Yeah. So yeah. I so I went down a, a road you weren't supposed to drive down at three o'clock in the afternoon, and they took a picture of me. And then when I got back to the United States, I got a, I got the ticket in the mail. And they said, well, you don't have to pay this, but don't ever come back to Italy again. <laughs> Same thing happened to me in Jersey. Hey, uh, yeah. you know, well, uh, and you the, didn't the pay it because you didn't need to go back to Jersey. Yeah, the word uh, chink uh, chinkwe means five. Yeah, and five so terraces. Five terra means probably yeah. five. Five, five lamps. terraces. Five, five terraces. Uh, it, yeah. You know, the it's 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 layered in five. There's five terraces that you can hike up to if you walk uh-huh. it. There's five. There's five yeah. flat areas. Did you ever uh, go yeah, I walked. Yeah, I walked all. Well, you know, it, up to the top one there. Now, my wife, her, um, I think on her on her Facebook page, she has a picture we took at Cinque Terre. It's one of our favorite pictures, mm-hmm. uh, and it's it was it's wonderful there. But anyway, so I digress. Oh, I loved it. I digress. Uh, so uh, let's get to the uh, the meat the meat and bones of all of uh, today. Oh, you just started smiling, Phil. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, I just decided that I was going to, you know, yeah. He just started smiling. 
Hi, Phil. I'm going to have I'm going to have to practice some of the stuff I learned at therapy. I can tell. Here we go. Uh, yeah, go, Phil. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I want to know. What? Be so sure. What I want to know is what Phil's been doing while he was gone, because all of a sudden I started getting a bunch of Republican shit in the mail. I'm not responsible for that. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. I got For some reason, I'm getting... Uh, Request for the Republican National Committee. All right, for donations. Well, I... from Mike Pence and and Donald Trump. So I'm going to make a whole ceremony and shred this shit and put it in an envelope and send it back to him. I think yeah. Phil pranked you. No, I didn't prank yeah, him, but I, I wish I did. Put me on a shit list. <laughs> maybe I, SG I wish I did. Uh, maybe I don't know your address. Well, it, it could be the Russians. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think you know what that could be. Yeah. But look at this. You know, it says that. Uh, Did that come in the mail? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know how the hell I got onto it because I'm an independent. Why? What a what a waste of fucking postage on their part. Yeah, I know, and they didn't even. Pay, but I'm going to spend the money and shred it, shredder, and put it in an envelope and send it back to them. You know, it probably is because you're independent, and they figure they might get you. Yeah. They might oh, get yeah, you on this side. Sur- they got a little survey on there that you know asked me some questions. Do I want to? Stop illegal immigration. Do I want to repeal and replace Obamacare? Mm-hmm. Do I want to end unfair Please. trade practices? And then they, you know, want to know my party membership, that my affiliation, and then it's all these little corrections. Correct here, and everything's right except my party affiliation. It says Republican, and I said, "Where the hell are you getting Republican? I've never been a Republican." So was your answer yes to all of those questions? No, I haven't put nothing on them. I'm going to shred well, them. I ended, <laughs> well, you know, uh, do, do you, I was wondering if Alex liked uh, porous borders. Do, do you do you like the fact that well, our borders I don't, are I don't insecure? Like, I don't like bookstores when they're wet. Yeah. Well, what about the guy <laughs> in uh, who who now has uh, been accused of uh, killing uh, the student in Iowa, I think? Tibbets. So, uh, so yeah. What, uh, now he was an illegal alien. Yeah. And if the oh, okay. US... Yeah. Well, uh, is that the, oh, the only illegal alien you can find that murdered yeah, somebody? No. No. There's that another the guy one. In that... Colorado killed his family, and he was white as a ghost. Yes. So. Exactly. Yeah. But he 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 was supposed to be here. The other guy wasn't. No. No. And no. The guy no. That no. Shot no. No. It doesn't count. He that, wasn't supposed doesn't to count, be here Phil. either. Doesn't count, Phil. Doesn't count, Phil. You're going to point out every time there's an illegal immigrant who kills somebody, you you know, find me two hundred to 300 of them and maybe I'll start saying you have somewhat of a case well you know we got two 300 of them they're you know about five six years old and they're uh, sitting in a detention center See, you, you know? have to blow my nose oh my god that those so I don't agree up. with but I do agree with some of them you know the, the crooks should be sent back but yeah there's no good way to to vet that right now so well not as long as not you have just shut them all out Why not as long as you have be, why should the kids be in the same position as an MS-13, Jack? They shouldn't. But as long as you have sanctuary cities and you have P- and you have cities that refuse to obey the law, you're going to have. No, wait a minute. Uh, they they refuse to yeah, obey. But, they no, refuse that's to what, that's obey. What everybody gets uh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. If they break the law, the cops are going to bust them, whether they're MS-13 or whatever. Also, they but refuse to. Not, hold on a second, Phil. They refuse yeah. to obey. The federal law, because they believe in their own state's rights. Correct. Uh, and they're gonna they're gonna arrest them anyway. It's not like they're you know this is what gets so difficult. They they make it sound like they let these guys run free, which they're not doing. They they, they call well, it a the, sanctuary state. Okay, well you're well, you're a gangster, so you're not gonna get touched. Bullshit. <laughs> the uh, what's happening is. Uh, for instance, in Oakland, the mayor Libby Schaff. That's fine. Uh, she can say all she wants. God bless her. No, she's but a she saint. warned them she's all that saint. ICE was coming to. Bravo, arrest bravo. Uh, when's her and, next and, election? And I'll that, give money to her campaign. Taken, and you know uh, what those guys do? The... Those guys sit there and say, "Big fucking deal. Come get me." Well, uh, they, they didn't in uh, Libby Schaff in Oakland's case. They uh, they took off, and uh, instead of rounding up a bunch of criminals. They ended up, uh, you know, with a lot of uh, dry oh, Santa, holes. Santa Cruz caught a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, they, they probably went from Oakland to Santa Cruz. Yeah, well. 
I don't know. Yeah. I just, you know, things get distorted. I listened to uh, Mr. T uh, in his little speech today down there in Virginia. and West Virginia? Yeah. I was, uh, you know, it's just disgusting. Well, you know, I mean, if you're trying to get a crowd uh, behind you and you want people to come out and vote. Oh, he's doing that. He's and, doing that perfectly and he was well. There. He's, he's leading a cult. He wants uh, to defeat Manchin, Joe Manchin, and get this uh, Irish guy, I guess, uh, elected. I forgot his name. Some pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some pedophile. No, it's just that, you know... No, he's not Catholic. I forced myself to watch him for, what is it, 45 minutes, and it was just an exact repeat of what he was doing back there, you know, of me, me, me. Look what I did, look what I did. And it had nothing to do with any campaign that was going on there. It was all about what he's done and what he did. And, and it had nothing to do with what he was down there well, for, was campaigning for midterms. It yes, was all but about the whole him. idea is But it was the same his, shit. Yes, but his shit is what the coattails he believes that he brings to uh, these uh, candidates, these Republican candidates, that uh, that he believes that his endorsement he may believe uh, boosts, it uh, he, he may believe it, but so far it hasn't proven to be true. No, that's yeah, come up with something that's, new. That's right. Well, why? Uh, you know, uh, you know, if it works, why not use it? Why does it have if to be lying used? and deceit? It works. Just keep lying and being deceitful. Right. I don't. I don't think Pretty he's much. lying and being deceitful. You don't think he lies? He lies like seven times a day on average. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. Twitter. I don't think. I, I think that you don't want to believe the things that he's doing that are positive. And what? tell uh, me one. Well, I uh, wish he was doing as much as he says he was. Tell me what he's doing that's positive. Okay, uh, he's helped the economy. The no, uh, he hasn't. Uh, it, no, he hasn't. No, is he low. hasn't. No, he hasn't. The lowest it's been. The unemployment is low, but the but yeah, the yeah. wages are less. No, not necessarily. Wages are, way wages, wages are coming up. Wait a minute. Wages are way down. Yeah, that's because we're competing uh, on an on an even no, no, no. playing no, ground. You, minute, you made a statement China. that he's improved the economy, and here's a case where you say, yeah. well, he, he, there's less unemployment. Yes, but the pay the the uh, the equivalent of that, the equivalency on that is that the wages are down. So, oh, you can always come up with some negative thing. No, but un uh, is unemployment that's a very down, realistic negative is, thing, Phil. Is unemployment <clears throat> down or isn't it? No, Yes, unemployment okay. is down. There, but wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. But the wages that are being paid matter. are lower than they've been. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. If you put people to work, it generates taxes. If it generates taxes and income, oh, good. I'm glad there are it fewer generates, people on it, food stamps if it's on, now. If it's on less money, you don't generate it taxes. Can't be that yes. much less. Je there are Jeff, fewer people Jeff, on food stamps. Yeah. Okay, Jeff. shut up, Phil. Jeff's turn. That's the only way to stop okay, him now I is to say, "Shut up, Phil." That a lot more people have jobs than they did before. But what the hell does have to do with Trump? Well, his his uh, reduction of onerous, uh, uh, what do they call them? Onerous um, uh, regulations uh, by getting rid of a lot of these. He's putting oh, yeah. even even in uh, West Virginia, they're talking about opening up coal. Oh uh, yeah, you know plant. coal. That's a really modern form of energy. Yeah. Those, guys, those guys can go back and get their black lung. They can awesome. get their black Let's lung, go. and I can cough from all the <clears throat> coal being spewed into the air and wash it out of my hair every day like I used maybe, to here in New York City. Well, maybe you'd like to get the fallout from uh, Montrose, New York, and the nuclear plant. Well, they at, ha uh, there, hasn't been any, there hasn't been any fallout from those plants. So you're, you're, speaking, you out of your, you're speaking out of your ass. No, that's not true. Uh, you know, when I was growing it's up in the, that area, uh, I believe well, in nuclear power two, for two reasons. Number one, I do think it can be done cleanly. And secondly, because I can pronounce it, Phil. Yeah. The, uh, uh, you know, the water outside that nuclear plant? The, the nuclear plant? Yeah, yeah. nuclear. Nuclear. Uh, I can't even pronounce yes. it wrong. It's hard nuclear. for me to pronounce nuke. it wrong. Nuke. The, nuke the nuclear, Luke, yeah. nuclear, 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 and uh, not nuclear, but nuclear. Uh, so, the water in the Hudson River right there is superheated. 
all the fish, you, they, they float on the surface from dying from the superheated water. Well, where did you, you don't think where, where that that you, where water did, where that's you, cooling where, those rods are, isn't where contaminated? Did you, where did you hear that? I swam in that water when I was a kid. Well, well that's, maybe it's not that way anymore. Well, in 1965 and 66, it, it was. was. Well, how many years <laughs> now? It. How many years have passed by? Oh, my God. Uh, one or two, but, you know, uh, they use that water to cool the rods. Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> you better be glad they cooled Turn around. The I want to see rods. your third eyeball. Yeah. 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 You, you know what I loved about what Trump, what, what, uh, what's her name, the, the black woman who got fired? Uh, Omarosa? Moro yeah, Omarosa. Managati? That's an uh, Italian thing. The phone call where Trump calls Man her and says, oh, I didn't know they fired you. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I didn't know. Nobody told me. Boy, yeah. well, you know, you got a lot yeah. of stuff. Well, yeah, you're they only do, the, they, you're they, the only. They you're do a lot of different no. things down there. You're only the fucking yeah, president of the United <laughs> States. Like it a was different chief, department or something. His yeah, chief got, of staff. You got a whole bunch him. of things going there, and I don't but know what goes knew. on in that Come department. Yeah, he's like, uh, I'm the manager upstairs, and I don't know what they do down there. <laughs> and then he had his uh, his son's wife call her to, for the bribe. That was great. $15,000 a month. I think Classic. they offer a lot of people. Before she started going negative and, and going with all of this crap, they offer everybody they fire a job. <laughs> the one thing so they'll keep their mouths shut? Not necessarily. Okay. Well, that's what it was in that phone call. You heard it, didn't you? Uh, I didn't hear the phone call. I heard the... Uh, oh, you should listen. I mean, oh. it's obvious that she's... We're going to pay you this money. Uh, but you, you know, somewhere somewhere there's a yeah. tape with him using the N-word. Yeah. And, it's, and no one's going to give it, a shit. No, it's going to come well, out. we all know it's the gonna truth come isn't out. the truth. What? The, tr the truth yeah, isn't the, the truth. The truth we isn't know the that. truth. That's, the that, truth yeah. isn't the truth. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> it, it, it depends on what the definition of... Uh, and is, is. It is, is, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, um, oh, boy. This, uh, this whole thing is coming unraveled. It, it, no, it, it's all about nothing. You know, when you look, yeah. when you oh, look it's at all the about whole nothing. picture. Well, wait a minute, hold on a second. Bullshit. Hold on a second. Bullshit. Okay. Today you had Land a man. Fort. Today you had a guy go into court and plead guilty to yeah, bribing, to bribing a woman on behalf of the President of the United States. They and have nailed has, him. They have nailed him because he's testified in court. They've nailed him. Hey, Lip people like plagiarize page. themselves. How do you know his testimony is legitimate? Because, has, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Because it's under oath, and if he's perjuring himself, that is yet another very terrible and crime. He wants I, out. Under he oath. Wants out. I'm such a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, see, he I can lie. Out, so he flipped like a damn hot burger. Yeah. He, no, you know, he's composing. That's what they say. Some of them, they try to make them sing, and and oftentimes they want them to compose the song no, as well. No, 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 Hey, Phil, what would it take for you to By stop? By the way, Phil didn't make that up. He heard that somewhere. Yes. What would it take for you, Phil, to flip, to, to suddenly realize that you've been wrong? What would it take? What would have uh, to happen? A significant amount of money. <laughs> so, you know. No, but what I'm, what I'm, say, NDA, what I'm, right? what I'm saying is, is that, that uh, in this particular case, here a guy Sorry. goes into court. What's his name? Uh, uh, Manafort, Manafort or, uh, Mo or no, uh, uh, Cohen. Uh, Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen. Cohen. Michael Cohen goes into court and he pleads guilty and he admits to having commit committed crimes, including bribing Stormy Daniels on behalf of the President of the United States. Okay? Wait a minute. If Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He is doing this in a court of law. Anything he says is perjury. If okay. It's wrong. Do you remember uh, the Edwards trial? They had a similar thing, and he was acquitted of a, of a similar charge. No. Do you remember that? No. Okay. Well, I can tell you. Uh, that Edwards was uh, uh, was accused of a, a similar uh, oh, a a campaign it, violation. No, it was a different situation altogether. No, Phil. no, exactly no, 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 no. It is not exactly the same. He had a baby. What uh, Cone did? With a well, yes, journalist. yes. But he didn't. There wasn't a whole thing of sending a lawyer off to pay her off. He paid him all, her off himself. But he took the money out of his campaign funds. Right. 
Well, that's well, a it's completely the same thing because no. What this is accusing. different. No, this is different because they're accusing Cohn of having paid her and that not being reported as a contribution. And by the way, it went over the amount you can contribute as a single person to a campaign. So, Wait a so minute. In those so cases, it, those are in two entirely different cases, Phil. So in those cases, what do you do? The guy pays the money back. Uh, to the campaign, and no, 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 uh, you know, no, no, and maybe there's no. a fine, but he, it's not. He collusion. put money out of his pocket to pay Stormy Daniels in the uh, in the amount of one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, which is, I might say, one hundred and thirty four thousand more than you're allowed by law to give to a campaign. Except it was his, uh, Trump's own corporation that paid the money. So isn't that the yeah, same no, as Trump no, paying no, the money? No, no, but, but the fact was that they, they he claimed that it was a was a, a, a contribution, and it w clearly couldn't be because it was over two thousand dollars. You mean he tried to write it off? Of course. No, they're claiming that it was a contribution because it was done hey, in a hey, in an, hey, your boy, in your, your boy, manner. your boy Trump Untimed. looks oh, terrible. Yeah, they, he they looks they like he was completely that uh, the time. Issue. It, what this shows by his Wrong testimony case. is that Trump Watch was up. complicit. Was complicit. Now, this, by the way, his admission can't be used in court of law against Trump. That's not enough right. to go get Trump. But it certainly indicts him, in my mind, in the public's eye, that this guy is a fucking. Well, but in your mind, in the public's eye, and and the fucking this or that isn't going to get you what you want, which is an indictment or uh, an impeachment against Trump. Right. But it certainly yet. tells so us that our, it's our just president a bunch of, is, it's just is a bunch, a bunch of, hot of air. crooks. Well, I say one thing? The president Manafort, has a swamp. Manafort was known to be a uh, crook. Somebody wrote, he calls himself the so American the Patriot, that says both women signed an NDA, perfectly legal to do so. No crimes were committed. Wrong. Wrong. Well, NDA, how is that wrong? NDAs are bullshit. Okay. They mean to shit. begin with, they don't mean shit. And by the way, the president trying to get people to sign NDAs while in the White House. We don't have NDAs can't, in the federal government. Do you can't no. do that. No, but in in private. No, uh, but he's and, and, tried and, to do that in the White House. Now, he's had people sign NDAs. The fact is, they signed NDAs, but uh, it, it just doesn't hold. Okay, so whoever wrote that, you're full of shit. Kevin, did you get an NDA in that survey? Yeah. Uh, let me look. <laughs> yes, yes, Ray. Probably. I just yeah. want to say, I mean, this is a purple, perfect example of the lying. So when the news broke that Stormy Daniels was paid off, Trump said he knew nothing about it. Then after hiring Giuliani some months later, Trump, uh, Giuliani said that Trump did know about it. Um, so there, that's, that's not what Trump what said. I, wait, Trump Giuliani was on the, said it. No, Trump was on his airplane before Giuliani, and when asked oh about it God. by a reporter, he said, "Ask my attorney." Giuliani said Trump knew about it. I heard him. Yes, wait, I'll go but, find it. And but send he it to didn't you. say he didn't know about it. He said, "Ask my attorney," at Michael Cohen. He didn't say he doesn't know anything about it. He just said, "Ask my attorney." That's uh, the point. Giuliani me. turned around and said that he did know about it when he said he didn't. Well, it was going to come out. No, no Phil is claiming that Trump said he, he never said he didn't know about it. But I think you're wrong, Phil. I'm going to go well, find that. I remember the conversation. It was on his plane and a, a, a reporter, I don't know which reporter, <laughs> yeah. a yeah, woman yeah, reporter asked it. him. Uh, and uh, what he she, said, what did she ask ask him? my turn. What did she ask I'm going to find it. What she she asked him about the Stormy Daniels thing yes. and the yeah. payment. And he avoided the question it's by saying, my ask my attorney. Yeah, well, Maybe we, we, have just, we, have just, we have just he asked he his attorney it. and we've gotten the answer. <laughs> no, you got a guy that's trying to save his no, own ass. No, but no, but he can't no, save. No, he no, can't no, save no. his own ass at the risk of perjury. And his the, lawyers, wait a minute, his lawyers will not allow him to perjure himself either. No, and he shouldn't. But uh, you know, the, his lawyer, uh, his old lawyer uh, Cohen, just pointed and said the Jews are in the attic. All right. That, all, that's, all I'm that's saying is trying. every day a little bit of the of the tapestry is being sewn. For the, for the demise of Mr. Trump. No, there's no demise. By the time, by the time Mueller so is finished, he is going to come up with a case <clears throat> that is so cut and dried and slam dunk, you won't believe it, Phil. 
Hey, uh, Ray, you're too young, but I voted for Nixon. (laughs) I'm not too young. I watch. No, no, no. Nixon, you could probably couldn't uh, vote in that election. I made his enemies list. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, what happened to Ray? I think I still have that newspaper. Ray, I think, has lost. (laughs) I think Ray froze. He lost his signal. Yeah, it's going around. That's what oh, you're seeing is a what, circle on your Trump, Trump cut you off, Ray. Yeah. So oh, there that's all right. I got a bad signal. <laughs> ah. yeah. So I'm tired tonight, by the way, because. Uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, anyway. what I've done is is I've decided I try not, I'm trying not to take, although I'm going to have to do it tonight, taking uh, Xanax to put me to sleep at night because I don't, I don't like it that much, you know. And so uh, I started smoking a, uh, a small amount of weed before I go to sleep and it's let me go to sleep. But last night I did too much and I kept staying awake thinking about stuff <laughs> because of the pot. So that's the problem with the new weed. It's so strong. Like yeah. you know, one hit is perfect. One yeah. and a half hits put you over the top and then it doesn't work. Oh wait a minute. For you in California, what you're talking about is completely legal. Same thing. I know, but what I'm saying is just way too strong now. I mean it's not like it was thirty years ago. It's mm-hmm. It's so dense in THC or and all these other things. Why is this show so can, popular in California? The three of the people I have online right now are all from the same area. It's because of your uh, last 30 years in California. Well, uh, but, you know, you, you were saying that uh, it's not legal where you are and it's legal in California. So are you going to join the ranks of Cohen and Manafort? Uh, you know, with this illegal activity that you're uh, participating in? Well, I'm, I, I, they, to begin with, uh, I, they don't really care about me. I'm small peanuts, you know. Oh, no, no, but you're willing to flip on the president. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I flip. But there's I flip. a difference between marijuana and, you know, government, cheating in the government, yeah. the federal well, government. Well, you know, one's $100 an ounce and the other is, uh, you know, smuggling $16 million of... What is the know, round uh, orb in back uh, of you, Ray? Is that the sun or the moon? The moon. Like UFO. The moon. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. That's the moon right there. Oh. That's the moon. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Hey, yeah. uh, Alex, is it hot by you? No, is it hot by you? No, it's been actually quite nice. No, no, it's, it, it isn't. And just because the temperature went down, my, um, my swamp cooler arrived today. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. And uh, so... I haven't put the water or the uh, ice in it, and I haven't turned it on yet. But uh, uh, I'll, I'll let you know how it is. Wow, okay. it was one ninety nine. One ninety nine. That's good. Yeah, That's delivered. Good. That's great. Amazon. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, that's the sun, right? Or is that the moon? That's the moon. That's the moon. Wow, that's yeah. nice. It's beautiful. and you can see it through the uh, the uh, pollution caused by the fires. You know the smoke. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as orange as so. There's less smoke today. It's usually yeah. orange. Have you been getting smoke down where you are? Yeah, yeah, up way up high in the atmosphere, so it's not really screwing up the air quality. Uh, I but smell it. it. Yeah, yeah, I smell it too. But then yeah. I check the air quality, and it's fine. Well, it's but really, it's really, it, sunsets, it, 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 yeah. it really doesn't amount to pollution technically because it is natural. You know, it's not well, like, there's enough of it, it'll make you sick, like up where well, the fires course, are. Of man, course, it's nasty. but what I'm saying, I went up there, it was horrible. What I'm saying is, it's not like, uh, like uh, oh, a fire that has plastic in it and things like that. You know, it's sure a, they I, do. It's a forest there's fire. thousands of structures it's which a, are burning. It's a forest, but the structures are nothing compared to the amount of woodlands that are being. Well, you know, in the uh, Santa Rosa area, let's get back they to had Trump. a lot of problems with uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, Contaminated materials going into the uh, drains and and, uh, and and other you know carcinogens and did I problems. just hear crickets? Yeah, well, that's, that's your audience. The, yeah, I can turn it turn it turn my mic off. No, 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 don't, no, don't no worry wait a minute. That's his audience. I like the crickets. Yeah, that's here. There's crickets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, it's getting I darker. You can hear that. Yeah, yeah. I went. I, you know, on the way up to Northern California a couple of weeks ago. Um, we went through Santa Rosa and looked at the devastation. Man, really? It's it's just incredible. That, I took a bunch of pictures. Um, <laughs> almost almost everyone is selling their property. There are, there are just a few houses here and there where people are rebuilding. That was like a well, year ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Last year, yeah. 
and they're just you know it's get it's pretty cleaned up it looks clean now but it's just you could, it's just empty space for as far as you can see. Well, Damien, wait a minute, Damien, Damien's uh, uh, storage facility, uh, it, everything around it burned to the ground, except for the yeah. storage facility, and that's where my stuff is. So, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, but he, for he's some up, reason... Where's he at? He's by he's Santa, Rosa. Santa, uh, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Oh, okay. But that, that was all the hydroponics uh, keeping the area damp. Yeah, see, uh, that, water, that water helped, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you, you know, I, it, it's going to be interesting to see, have a jailed president. That would be really Well, the, what's going to oh, be I interesting is how long is it going to take for them both to be pardoned? These uh, two? Ma I, you know, I don't think Manafort's going to get a pardon right away. No, he'll wait. I think his, his pardon will come at the end of Trump's, uh, uh, what do you call it, term. Well, not and, this, uh, not this term. And, not this term. Uh, not this term. Well, if, I don't think he's going to run again. Well, if he if he doesn't get elected, yeah. uh, uh, he he will do he will probably do it at the end of this term. Otherwise, yeah. he won't do it. He won't do it until he gets reelected because he doesn't want that to come up in the campaign. Honestly, and by then it, by then Manafort will have at least spent two years in prison, which right. is fine by me. I, I don't see Trump running in 2020. I think the only reason that he's doing this, I'm running in 2020, is so that he's not a lame duck president. See, if he says that he wasn't going to run, he's automatically a lame duck. So by saying that he's running in 2020, uh, you can't treat him like a lame duck. Yeah, he's not a lame duck. He's just lame. <laughs> well, how he's a lame you dick. Look at? Day one. <laughs> yeah. He's a lame dick. Yeah. But, uh, you know, think about it. I mean, as soon as you announce that you're not going to run, what are you? You know. Why do you uh, think he's not going to run? Uh, he's 72, is it? And uh, I think that he's probably had enough. It's cost him close to a billion dollars in his uh, personal He never wealth. had money to begin with. This is a way yeah, he could rob. Been... This is a way he could rob the bank without having to have a gun. I That's think right. he's, he's protected. I, he's got cars. He's got the whole bit right now. What? The, why would he want to well, leave? He had better ones when he wasn't president. Did you see his plane? It was much nicer than Air Force One. And you know his apartment. I th I think it was nicer than uh, the White House. You know who paid for that plane during the campaign? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, because and and uh, don't they pay? You uh, you don't have no the you, RNC you, you don't have an idea how close Trump was to bankruptcy uh, before he ran for president. His oh, yeah. his running for There's, president. Wait a minute. His running for president. He thought would get him out of a lot of hot water. He never thought he'd win. He thought he'd own uh, a new uh, uh, news network with Ailes. I don't think he. he I think he was disappointed when he won. Uh, I think when Roger Ailes died. That uh, put an end to uh, uh, another, you know, chapter in in what he wanted to do. Well, he could do but, it. He could do it without Ailes. Yeah, but Ailes is the brains behind Fox. He he was the guy that created what Fox was. Yeah, but he and created I Fox I, at a time when there was a need for a Fox. You can't, you know, he, that didn't mean that uh, he could come back and do the same thing again and make it work. The pundits that are the, pundits, on the pundits. losing side, not pundits. Uh, you know, the, the like the you know pundits. when uh, when um, pundits. Clinton, yeah, when Clinton was uh, president, mm -hmm. you had the rise of all of these right wing pundits. Pundits, and pundits, pundits. Yes, P U N D I T S. Pundits. All right, pundits. Pundits. So, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Nuclear. <laughs> Nuclear pundit. So anyway, <laughs> you had the rise of all of these I guys. I love you, Phil, but you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's nuclear to me. But, but Libya uh, carry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, hey, I didn't go to the same schools you went to. You know, you went to those progressive schools. Oh, yeah, I went to a progressive school. school. St. Yeah. Francis Drake High School in Marin County. That's a real progressive school. It was progressive, you <coughs> yeah, know. Sure. They, you know, they taught uh, horticulture and pot growing and, and all of that kind of stuff. Well, I <laughs> learned in horticulture. I learned that you can uh, you, you can lead a horticulture. Uh, you can lead a horticulture, <laughs> but you can't make her drink. That's the joke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, I, you know, I'd love to hear a little bit more about Jeff's trip. And uh, no, I don't want to hear about <laughs> Jeff's trip. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you went know, to Rome. Hey, I've who, never been I, Rome. I, I am the host, the host of this show, show, and I'm trying. I try to to <laughs> to just steer the show in one direction or another. Yeah. Down into the gutter. I think we found out about... Did you have anything more interesting to say about your trip, Jeff? I mean, it was only a seven-day trip, basically. Yeah, I had, I had a wonderful time. And Good. I had grandkids with us. See? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. want to hear about the grandkids? Yeah, yeah let's talk about yeah. the grandkids. <laughs> you know, hey, did you go on a... Uh, on a, uh, on a uh, what do you call it? A gondola in Venice? Well, uh, what we did is... We were actually uh, learned how to drive them ourselves. Really? Did you sing? No, I didn't sing. You know, uh, when I was there, got good I've, at I've never been to Venice. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Place. You really? Yeah, I think so. It, it's it's beautiful. Uh, you know, everybody told me it's like a sewer. No, no, it's not at all. As a matter of fact, it's it seems like they've cleaned it up quite a bit. Yeah. You know, it's a place to buy leather and paper. They make this handmade paper. Well, Did you I, get it? You know something? I uh, love I your little uh, travelogues, Phil. Everything nice. is a travelogue. And then you can get paper here. You can get leather there. You know. You can. <laughs> you know, but uh, you were only looking to you buy cotton. You don't know leather products. Spain has the best leather products. No, oh, no, absolutely. it's not finished the way. Absolutely. It's, Spain has cheap leather products. No, it has great leather products. People go to Spain just for the leather. Uh, you know, why are all the finest uh, designers uh, in Italy make, using Italian leather? Because they, they, they know how to process it. Uh, they make the softest, most supple, uh, highest quality leather in the world. They do. Ho hum. You can yeah. really bring any conversation just down to a grinding halt. <laughs> well, I try. Yeah, I know you do your best. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm getting tunnel vision. Uh, it, yeah, well, that's because he's going through a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. One of these nights, one of these nights, one night, one night he's going to go through there and he's going to get yeah. mugged. You know, and we'll have it all live on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Get your hands off me, man! Oh, sorry. Hey, you used Palo Alto as the next exit down, right? I know. I'm really close. <laughs> yeah. Jeff says it. Yeah. I'm not yes, yeah. Nobody. I, the one thing about Phil is I noticed that your your I think your skin looks better. Yeah. As your surgery, you probably get some more. Maybe there's some. Some additional blood going up to your brain. That's, uh, that's the problem. It's, yeah, but the no, trouble, it, it, it's it's going to my joints. No, the but problem you is, guys wouldn't think it's it, going it, to the brain. It, it, brain, uh, more blood going to his brain at this point is useless because it, the damage has already been done. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, uh, I am uh, the widowmaker, which I keep forgetting what that one's called. The LD. LD something, uh, mm. that artery, uh, that one's 100% clear. Uh, the RCA, which is the other one, is also 100% clear now. And then I have one other that's like 20% clogged. And they said that's a mile, and they don't do anything. Oh, by the way, we got this guy, American Patriot, who's doing it. He's in the chat, and he's throwing out yeah. all this bullshit, okay? He, he, what kind of bullshit? Which makes he, should me, be, he should be calling in. You know, How come well, I never see this chat? Do I have to look at it on on, uh, on YouTube? YouTube? On YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Right. Yeah. No. I, uh, what's interesting about it is, uh, and this is the big, big thing about it, is that uh, he could very easily be a Russian. Yeah. He could very easily yeah. Well, yeah. be a Russian. You know, I'm, it's probably a fake. Idea Microsoft. Here. Yeah. Microsoft found twelve or twenty. Uh, websites yesterday or today yeah. that are uh, w which were Russian yeah, plants yeah, yeah, we know uh, for disinformation. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has no picture American, either, American so. Patriot has no picture, calls himself American Patriot. I think he's a Russian. Let's turn him in. Have him I call think he's in a Democrat. 
Have him call in and see if he tries to hide his accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Sounds good hey, to me. You know, they they also, it's funny that the attorney that met with Donald Trump Jr., the Russian attorney, mm -hmm. uh, didn't have a visa. And uh, she was allowed to come here uh, under Obama's, uh, and uh, who was the um, attorney, not the attorney general, who, yeah, it was attorney general uh, that, uh, that allowed her to come in here for special circumstances. Well, they, and they, they do that with, with foreign people, with certain foreign people or a, who are members of, and agents of a government. Right. So they yeah. let them in uh, and and, they, and by the that, way, they let us in. They let out. us in as well. Who, how do they let us in? To their country. In, to their countries. It. It's a reciprocal thing. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, There's I, a I difference just, between letting someone in and telling them state secrets. I well, just got a new one, so uh, uh, now I can go. I can go places, you know. Yeah, it just came in the mail yesterday. You can go to you can go to Russia and see your Russian masters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Go get a hooker and piss on you. It's interesting yeah. that the that the the uh, hacking that was being done was being mm -hmm. done of a conservative organization that's right. anti-Trump. Anti-Trump, and then also anti uh, some think tanks. Yeah, but anti-Russian as well. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, they disagree with Trump on his whole uh, feelings about Russia. I mean, uh, you know, at this point, it's almost such a slam dunk that Russia fucked with our election. You know, yeah, but they're saying China and North well, Korea and Iran on, forget, also. Forget about anybody else. We're talking about Russia right now. Okay, Phil? What you yeah, do, but we're being you know, invaded no, that from was, all you sides. Just, you just committed the worst whataboutism we're being we've invaded had on this by show. All sides. That's what no, Trump does. No, no. China does it for different reasons. It's usually industrial. It's usually industrial. Uh, uh, Iran, uh, I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, but the fact is that Russia, we know, uh, through every source we have, whether it's the CIA, the NSA, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, we know the Russians fucked around with our election. And to this day, Donald Trump will not say it. Uh, the Chinese, you say you it's industrial. You didn't answer the question. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm answering no, the question. No, you're you not say a, it's industrial. No, it, it, we don't want I'm to talk about China. China is not something we're discussing here. We're discussing the, the Russian... But you have to. The you have to because it's no, we don't. all no, we part don't. of the... No, we don't. Because they, the, 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 the fact is, when we concentrate on the Russians' interference, it's pretty well generally believed in all our services and everything, that it that it that the Russians attempted to fuck up our election. I'm sure it's they did. And, 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 but it's to this day, Trump will not admit admit that he will They're not say those words. It's manipulation of power. They're trying to manipulate their power. Okay. Well, they try think, to get into ours. Think about this. You, you don't want to hear from Chinese. But what if the Chinese want to get rid of Trump and get a more pro-Chinese government? So far, uh, so far, the, the, the fingers have not been pointing in the general direction of the Chinese for the election. Okay? We're talking about the Jeff, election. Jeff, We're talking uh, about the election rigging. Yes, uh, Jeff, and then Ray. When Trump got uh, off the airplane today, what do you think he said? Das Vidanya? This stuff had nothing to do with Russia. About eight times. Yeah. yeah. And yet everybody, CIA, NSA, Microsoft, of all people, Microsoft actually comes up with some of the goods on this deal, uh, all say the Russians were interfered yeah, in our election. Kind of like Bruce and Nellie Orr. And, you know? and uh, he, he completely, completely re refutes it. He just, well, you know, Phil, Bruce, Bruce Orr and wait, Nelly it was Orr my turn, are the Phil. ones that came up. Okay, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> Phil, I just want to say that when you bring up China and all these other countries, you've been brainwashed by Trump because he is the one who keeps saying, oh, yeah, but there are all these other ones because he is the one who has all these dealings with Russia and he wants to get the focus off of Russia. So he tries to put it on China and a 400 pound guy and a couch and all this stuff. And you're just you're just playing right into his hands. 
Well, maybe you're yeah, ignoring. Realize. You're maybe you're ignoring other facts. Uh, no, and we truths. have no facts. We have no facts about those other countries doing. We anything. have the leader of the free world telling us that this is the deal. Why would I believe him? He has no evidence. He just says it, but he has no evidence. Well, we don't know that. Well, we've never seen it. We've only seen evidence against, evidence against the Russians. Where is this other evidence? We haven't even seen evidence against the Russians. Yes, as we, far uh, as that dossier is concerned, it was fabricated and oh, paid for by the DNC and come. Hillary Clinton and oh the FBI. God. And there's, wow. what, how many okay, Russians I'm indicted? I'm done. 16, I think. I already know for sure okay. the Russians did it. Even no before, there was I'm a not town. Oh. I'm not saying there was you're a town. wrong. Never mind. Okay. I'm not saying you're, you're wrong. I agree with you. The Russians were complicit in this hacking. Our our people, people that we trust, say that this is the truth. But I think that we're being invaded. That's that's why we need this space uh, force. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God, you just buy everything. You sound you said. just like his oh, Okay, today. okay, okay. Like okay, Jack Bishop, who runs the show after ours. I can't believe the degree of bullshit tonight. <laughs> hey, Phil, don't you think we do the same thing? Don't of course, you think except the, we, we, we didn't get caught. Who or if we so? did, they didn't cry. Who says so? Who says we Wait have a minute. Why do we even have to interfere in Russia's elections? I mean, Putin's a slam dunk. He fixes them himself. There's no, no reason to interfere in their elections. It's a joke. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't say that. Don't say okay. that. Okay. You know. Right. Uh, Why? Well, we, we were we were very successful in interfering uh, with the elections that were scheduled for 1956 well. in uh, uh, Vietnam. We were very successful in undoing a duly elected uh, Democratic uh, government in South America with... Uh, was it Allende? Uh, Allende. We did a damn good job in '53 with the Iranians oh. and set Shaw back. Shaw. Yeah. yeah, that's a totally different time. Now, I'm talking about matter. now. Yeah. All right, what do you mean it doesn't matter? Putin is a slam dunk whether we interfere or not. How do you that's know? Because he's doing a good job. How do you know? Because, know? How do you know? You know, you, okay. you know, well, because he's per how because they, he has purged count? people in his government just like Stalin does. All because, right. What? Hey, how do okay. they count the, I don't know how they count the votes in Russia. Do you? Do they count them by hand like we should? Or do they oh, use okay. eyeball? All yeah. right. All right. Well, if you think that that's a democracy over there, I think you're kidding nobody yourself. Said, nobody said nobody said it was a democracy. Talking about winning a fucking election. Okay. I thought, I thought they do what I'm saying hand. is he they, doesn't they, have they to win and he's still going to win. The ballots? Yeah. He's going to win no matter what. Not Don't necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, okay. You know, uh, there's well. a saying in South Texas that Alex might remember. That uh, it, South Texas, when they started counting votes, there was always an extra box out there with votes for Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> when they needed him. You know, this Gorbachev. is a completely different society. Yeah, it is. It is. It's not America. In America, we're supposed to have free and unbiased elections. Since and if and if and if they were interfered with, these people are our enemies. We do a good enough job problem, with interfering we inter with them ourselves. We interfere with our own yeah. damn yeah. elections because we do things like uh, voters. Hanging, Chad. We we do voters. Oh Jesus! Who, who did we almost lose? Ray Renati? Ray. Yeah. We, 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 no, no, Ray. it just looks like that. I'm fine. I'm like oh, way yeah. far away from the because, because uh, Jeff and I want insurance on you. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, but look, you know, when when we do things like taking, and I read about this in Pennsylvania, where 75% of the voting places, the balloting places, are being eliminated from certain districts, that's voter suppression. Of when, course. Now, you know, hey, we I can, agree. This is America. If we can, if we can sell kids two hundred dollars sneakers, we can figure out a way to steal a fucking Russian election. I, have, I don't think there's a need to steal a, I, a I, Russian I, election. I have faith in my political crooks. Okay, yeah, well. I just don't think it's worth our time because he's going to win no matter what. He's going to make it. He he has he's a dictator. He has complete control. And you, and you has, mean to say that when uh, when Putin and Trump meet, and if Trump was a real American. 
he couldn't slip him the cyanide, you know, like that guy. No. It, it, hey, shake hands with the man. Like, just walk up to him, slap him on the back. The needle goes in the back of the neck, and he's down. Put it in the soccer ball. <laughs> the president of the United States? It, it, would, it would show some real courage and conviction for a change. Oh, Why should God. he okay. when uh, it, it helps him get elected? You know, uh, why? You know, well, well, a he, dead guy. Yeah, uh, he might help him uh, wind up with a custom-made orange jumpsuit here in a few months. Nah, you guys are dreaming. Oh, oh, I, I know I'm dreaming because our politicians, our buddies, no matter what side of the political aisle they uh, they fall on, and they right. wouldn't send each other to jail unless they could make a. Uh, a good case out of it for themselves, which I the hope Democrats so. just want the good offices with the with the window view. And when they're in charge, they get the good offices. When they're not in charge, the Republicans have the good offices. That's this is all about power. Well, well, Ray, of course, it's all about power. That's what it's supposed to be about. The question I always ask, name one thing in the last 40 years that the Republican Party has done that's benefited the average working person. Uh, they freed the slaves. I said four years. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, That's going back 165 years. All right. Uh, what did the Republicans do? And by the way, let me from, let from me despair. just say let me just say no. that when they uh, can I jump in? It's my show. Uh, <laughs> uh, Boy, we get testy tonight. Yeah, huh? I know. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I, I have to remind you. You know, Sunday night. I'm on nationally uh, on Westwood oh. One. Yeah. Um, oh. How do we hear you? Uh, uh, I'll give you a, I'll give you one station. WMAL in uh, Philadelphia carries yeah. it okay. live. Uh, 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 do you know what the one is in San Francisco? Yeah, KKSF. Oh. KKSF. At what time? Uh, uh, ten to ten to one. In Your time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 10 p.m. Uh, yeah, and I'll I, uh, I probably want some of you guys to call, some of you guys to call, but I you know so that's I'll, 1 I'll talk here. about that. No, no, later. it's seven. It's seven. Oh, PM. seven. That's right. Oh, seven. Oh, cool. oh, so, oh yeah, seven to seven to ten your time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. So, are are you going to have a good producer on the dump button just in case? Oh, they. Yeah, but I I never see them. I'm doing it from CBS here in New York from a closet at CBS, where they got mm -hmm. a microphone, a couple of computers. And a line down to Philadelphia. Where How was you where, want to where in? Hold on a second. Can I finish, Phil? Well, I was going to. Where, tell you where that. in? Where in resides the producer and the screener? So it's uh, it's a very long distance proposition. Very strange. Have you seen the studio? No. Do you think that maybe you're being conned by your friend Walter, and this is the most palatial studio you've ever walked in? I don't know. And, he said to me, "You're going to be surprised." He, he said to me, "It's a dump and small." Yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's what he said. It's and, off your know, heart. It's a dump. It's yeah, a, it, it, it's an it's, afterthought at CBS. Okay, you know, it's not like CBS. Uh, the CBS this morning set. I'm not doing it well, from on there. Tuesday, you can tell us that it was either the most palatial set you'd have ever been on, better than Fox, or no, there's uh, no set. Yeah. What do you mean? It's a radio studio. It's barely yeah, well, that. The radio studio is yeah. really down in Philadelphia. And they just run an ISDN line in there, right? Yeah, ba basically that's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, according to Alex, it was DSL. <laughs> I, I mean, no, they don't. Probably, uh, what what do you don't what, 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 any, Yes, they, they do. Don't? Oh, yes, they that's do. What, that's what's crystal clear. Is that, the ISDN. That's how. That's how uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Walter does his show from uh, oh, Cleveland. Really? Are you sure it's not? No, uh, he said. Uh, I oh. asked him. I said, "Why can't we? Is there any way that I can do it from here?" Rather than have to go down to CBS, and and he said uh, you you have to have an ISDN line. Mm. That's the only way you can sound like you're in the room. No, there's another thing that a lot of people. Oh, there is. And that and that's uh, 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 VOIP. You know, we that's all we do around I, here. Well, that's maybe, what I maybe have that's what at you, the store, and it sucks. Uh, it, here, I I don't know why they still. It is a lot of broadcasters still using ISDN, and in this particular case, he uses ISDN. Well, I, I think it's more reliable. I, I would I, much. I have, I have voice over IP through uh, Verizon at the store, and I thought it was going to be the end all be all. What a piece of shit that is! Yeah. Uh, I, I get more drop calls. It uh, is a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, I, but uh, I, you know, I could do it from here and with my with my, if we could do it just on the internet. Yeah. 
somehow. Uh, I've got uh, a strong signal here. Never goes out. You know, it's really pretty good shit. Well, look, if you need a ISD edit coder, I've got a couple. I'll be glad to let you uh, use. Yeah. Rather than... yeah. Yeah. Well, is this I, going to be an ongoing thing on no, Sunday? No, I'm. Nights? I'm. Uh, he's going on vacation for the week and asked me to do his show. Ah. So uh, you know, I'm, people I'm, that get vacation. So no, I'm, you. I'm going to do his show. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm getting paid exactly what I get paid on Gabnet. So, you know, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah. Gabnet bucks. Yeah, Gabnet bucks. Yeah. I, I, Alex invented a new one called Gabcoin. And, uh, <laughs> I'm only doing it because I'll be able to plug Gabnet. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. Uh, well, but, that's good. Oh, he's got intros for me and everything. You know, he's like really making it my show for the night, so... Did uh, did Rob make any? And he uh, indicated he'd like me to do it more often if he can if he can get me to to do it. You know. He wants time off. Yeah, yeah. So it's and Sunday, eight. seven p.m. KKSF yep. Pacific time. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get it on my two and then record uh, it in case uh, I can't get it. Uh, any station around the uh, North Texas area got to carry this thing? Yeah, let me see. Oh, you could probably get it online. It's Westwood One. No, well, you know, you don't. You go to go to WMAL in go to uh, yeah. WMAL dot com, mm -hmm. and up at the very top it says uh, live. Listen live, and when you call while the show's on, call that number while the show's on, uh, and just hit listen live. You'll be able to hear the show. Going to have uh, a citizen panel. No, no. But I might have you guys. He's smart. I might have. I might have you guys call individually. Yeah. Uh, but watch your language. Oh, uh, every uh, mic is a live mic. Uh, look, let me see. I have a list of all the. I have a list of the fi over fifty stations that he's on live. Hmm. Uh, and uh, most of them, you know, like Twin Falls and mm -hmm. where is it here? Cocked uh, Eyebrow, Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, the th three stations in Salt Lake City. I don't know why. why. why? <laughs> Las Vegas, Roanoke, Lynchburg. Where did you ask How about Texas? Them Mormons? I don't see any in Texas here. Topeka, Palm Springs, Anchorage, Sioux City, Elmira, Bend, Oregon. Uh, also, I heard he's on in Guam. And it's on at mm. th 3 o'clock in the afternoon in Guam. Uh, wow. but, but I don't Time see... Doing I don't, afternoon drive. I don't it? see anything here in Texas. Uh, I'll do something about that. I, uh, well, I'm just doing one show. I'll, you know, you don't. I've, have to I've still got some friends in the business. Yeah, get Walter and you on. Y yeah. Well, anyway, I'm, I, I didn't want to do it. I turned him down initially. Uh, and why did you not want to do it? You're always complaining about you want to do things, and well, I, now you got I, a chance. I, I, to begin with, he doesn't do the same kind of show I do. And uh, I, I, I he does a good show. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he does so a much so, he, he does a much softer show than I do. It's meant to be yeah. more of a kind of a end of the weekend show, yeah. okay. And and I'm a little on the rougher edge, uh, so I didn't want to do it from that standpoint. But he said, just be Alex Bennett, do whatever you want to do, talk about whatever you want to talk about, and uh, 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 so. It finally, he said, look, he said, if you're, he says, when I pass, well, he stays here occasionally. He says, when I pass by your studio and you're doing the show and I hear you, I'm hearing the best broadcaster in America. He He's said, right. He said, just do that. Well, I'll argue that whether. Well, you can argue. This guy was one of the biggest consultants in the business. You ever hear? I'm, you, I'm you, just fritzing yeah, with you. You ever hear of so, Walter Sabo? Yes, of course. I'm just, yeah. I'm just screwing with you. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he flattered me into it, you know. But what do I want to go down to CBS at 10 o'clock at night down on 57th Street where they don't have coffee? Uh, and Bring uh, your own. Yeah, well, I, they dispose of a place across the street I can get it. I just, you know, it, it's, it, 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 the whole proposition kind of frightened me a bit, you know, uh, because I don't like to look bad, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to have I, I mean, the first hour is going to be about aging. It, I'm going to take a very interesting approach to it, uh, and then I'm going to have my wife, ex-wife, on for 15 minutes, and then the next hour I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff, and that hour I'm going to have Will Durst on, uh, mm. and uh, you know, and the last hour will just be nothing but calls, and uh, I'm hoping you guys will kind of help me out, 
you know. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And with uh, no four Hell letter yeah. words. No, no swearing. No swearing. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. You got the seven second delay? They have they have a twenty second delay down there. I mean, <laughs> it, it for this table. <laughs> not, 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 yeah. But you know, uh, stuff I haven't I found it on the map. It, it, it's stuff I haven't done in years, you know, like uh uh hard, hard breaks at the half hour and the hour, you know, to go to stations across the country hard breaks so after 60 uh, years i think you'll remember how to do it well yeah but you know I, I, what i said to walter was by the time uh one o'clock arrives just about five minutes of one i will have gotten it all down you know <laughs> and then it's time to say goodbye so can you get there early and get the lay of the land oh, and, yeah, and all gonna, that stuff i'm gonna get there about 8 30 yeah. and uh you know talk uh, talk, talk by to the people in Philadelphia. You know, I'm just used to walking into a studio and there's my engineer and there's my screener. You know? Alex, I'm looking at a picture of the inside of the studio. What studio? Right. A CBS studio on 57th Street. Yeah, well, yeah but are, is, is are, that the are, studio he'll be in? I think so. Uh, he's going to be in janitor's closet 1B. Okay, well, it's just <laughs> a little tiny office with... Uh, Okay. That's Maybe probably not, it. Where it did sure you like where it. did you find this? I went on Google Maps and I put CBS Studio 57th Street, New York City, and and, um, and, you could and see then it? and then it shows a bunch of pictures, like all kinds of pictures, uh, and there's some little offices that look like yeah. I mean it, it, it. I mean there's some small offices that look like they're broadcast ready, but they don't look horrible. I'm sure it'll be fine, but the other part, the other problem is, they they said to, he said have him show you where the bathroom is, but remember how you got there. Oh. <laughs> he said because he said one night I had a hell of a time finding the studio again. Take one of those things, the trucker's friend. No, you know, I, I, I was no, bottles. I was thinking of I was thinking of doing what Hansel and Gretel did and buy cookies and make a little trail. <laughs> Hey, yeah. you know you can never leave food around in a in a studio. Uh, you know the advertising people will eat it. Uh, that's what advertising people said no, about that's, the. That's the difference group. between radio <laughs> and te radio and television. Because in television, the uh, the camera people, cameramen, yeah, and, the, they, and yeah. the audio people, all the technical people eat. Yeah. The, there's a story that I I've told this before that Chuck McCann told me about uh, about WPIX in New York City and a guy who used to have a show on Saturday Sunday nights or Saturday nights where he would have a rotisserie and he would during the movie do you remember the show he would No, I remember make, what you telling the story. He would make the food on the rotisserie and then uh uh you know he'd come back into the movie see how our lovely rotisserie is making a lovely roast beef, right? And then they would come back uh, 20 minutes more later and look, it's even getting better and it's getting juicy. Look at the juice is just falling off on our rotisserie, oh, you know. Wow. And he's selling the rotisserie. And then it, what would happen is when he, uh, when he was uh, through with his last shot there and the movie still had another 20 minutes to go, but his shot was over with, he just bolted out of the studio and went back to New Jersey. Well, uh, he um, didn't didn't realize something that he would take his meat and put it in a refrigerator. So sometimes he'd buy two weeks worth of meat at a time. So and he put one in the refrigerator and cook one on the air. And then the next week he'd take the one from the refrigerator and 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 cook it on the air. But he didn't know that while he was away for the week, they unplugged the refrigerator and threw it in the property room rancid so when he would come back he saw oh the meat is rancid but nobody will know this is black and white television so he puts it on the skewers and it's you know a whole thing <laughs> with the with the rotisserie and look at how the beautiful beef and the juice is running off the beef and then he you know it uh, it's the show's uh, got 20 minutes left to go but he's through with his shots he's in his car he's halfway through the Lincoln Tunnel, when he suddenly says to himself, oh, oh the, my God, oh, my God, the crew, because they will eat anything that's left behind. He pulls back up to the TV station. There's an ambulance outside. 
<laughs> and they're hauling people into the ambulance as they're cursing this guy's name. Uh, the meat had gone really, really bad. Well, he knew it was bad, but didn't yeah. matter, you know. <laughs> so that that's one of the great stories. That and they had a show they were doing with a dog and some pets, and uh, they were doing this is for a kids show and demonstrations of a beehive, and the dog pushed over the beehive, and the bees went flying up, went into the uh, mm. the air condition, you know, the what do you call it, the vent ventilation system, ventilation system, and mm -hmm. down into a control booth. Where the announcer was about to do the uh, station break, <laughs> and all of a sudden his whole booth fills up with bees. Yeah, so. <laughs> those were the two stories I remember from Chuck. So that's pretty good. Anyway, so anyway, I so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this thing uh, this weekend, and I yeah I I you know, I want to do it I do a good job of it, but. Uh, it's it's not meant to get me a job anywhere or anything like that, but it's the first time I've been on broadcast radio in five years. You know, so. Well, you know, you've been five years saying that you wanted to do a broadcast radio show. That that's real radio. Now you've got an opportunity. Yeah. I well, think it's great. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like Christmas early. Well, it, it, I don't know if it's Christmas. You know, I would rather somebody said Hanukkah. hey we got a show for you to do permanently then i then i'd be thrilled you know but yeah it's well, not going to happen you can get fill -in work. it's not going to happen because of my age and that's part of what i'm going to talk about on the first hour of the show on on sunday they can't oh, see you in that studio i know i'm sure I'm, you won't get another you know shot at something you keep uh, i worked with a guy who lied so much about his age that uh uh he was old enough to be my father and by the time he died he was six years younger than <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I don't lie about my age. I never have. Okay, and that's my curse because if I, be, most people in this business lie about their age, just say you tell people that you're older than you really no, are, so you can collect social security. Am I right, Jack? In our business, you lie about your age. Say you're 95, and they'll be like amazed. Well, I had somebody once tell me. Uh, that you should really say you, you're older than you are, and then they'll say, well, how good you look for your age. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you know what happened today? I was on a uh, conference call, uh -huh. and uh, the uh, they had us, uh, you know, it was like a one-way thing where they had video, and so they had you type in on the, uh, on the uh, chat thing. Uh, they said, well, what did everybody do in the last couple of weeks since the last conference call? And, I, and so I said... Uh, I had a successful heart surgery, and uh, and I didn't die at my desk like I thought I would. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. For those yeah. of us that were rooting for you. Oh, are rooting yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Yeah, Walter does his show from Cleveland, from his house, and his whole studio is in his laundry room. What's he do during the rinse cycle? Huh? Yeah, well, he What's he do during the rinse cycle? He calls it the Walter Sterling show from the from the laundry room. He really does it from his laundry room. So. He launders every show. He launders every show. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, anyway. Uh, so uh, funny. Uh, well, we'll see what happens, you know. So are you going to bring your laundry with you? I'll br no, no, that's if I went and did the show in Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to make it feel at home for all his listeners. So just bring a clothesline and some clothes hooks and uh, hang a few t-shirts. Well, I was when I was a boy in radio, we had studios. You know, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck with with uh, you know, these closets and stuff. It, it's so what a Ray, Ray yeah. can you describe that studio uh, 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 graphic? Well, well, you know, I don't know if it's the same one, but it just looked like an office with some equipment in it. Uh, uh, shovels. No, we just had modern stuff. It was just small. Yeah. yeah. And there was, a, there was like a dead guy in the corner. It looks like maybe they hadn't been in there in a while. Right. But, uh, right. you know, right. it was yeah. fine. That was the last guy that filled in for Walter. There was a tin cup <laughs> with a wire hooked to another tin cup. Uh, a mop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a mop, yeah. Yeah, well, there's our theme. Uh, <laughs> thank God it's time for our theme song. Hey, thank you so much, uh, J uh, 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 Phil. I'm glad to see that you're healthy. Thank you're you. a handful, but thank God you're healthy. Yeah. Uh, well, the drugs will wear off soon. Uh, yeah. Did they give you drugs, by the way? Uh, not, you know, they. I asked for uh, Dilaudid, 
And uh, they said, oh, we're only going to give you a Vicod then. I said, well, that, that uh, it binds me up. I don't want Vicod. And not Vicod. Yeah, Vicod yeah. then. But they didn't uh, give you Norco. That. But they didn't. Norco. So what and did they so give I, I refused it. Oh, okay. And there, there's Ray and Shakespeare. Am I right? Is that Shakespeare? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's that's right, young man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have puppets on our show now. To be or not. To We've be. really hit the all-time low now. Puppets on the show. <laughs> Je- Jeff, welcome back. And uh, Kevin, good to have you on tonight. Uh, uh, we'll hear about our, we'll talk about our, our jailed president tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you all. Wave Buena goodbye. Santa. W- yeah, wave goodbye so they can all see you. Yes. Goodbye, Shakespeare. Night. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to sneeze again. Boy, I had a little sneezing fit there for a little bit. Uh, Jack uh, Bishop is next with a a show called The Intersection. You should call him, okay? You should listen to him. And at 1 o'clock in the morning, we got a very good show on. It's called Connections. It comes out of Florida and a bunch of people having a lot of fun. And talking about all kinds of things and social media and social interaction between people and crap like that. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Uh, well, Damien isn't here tomorrow night, but in his place, starting at 8.30, will be the franchise MC with the arena. He'll take it all the way to 10 o'clock, and then I'll be there. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.